I wish to create a quarter 20 tapped hole in the end of my part that's drilled 5 8 deep and tapped half inch deep. So I've gathered cutting fluid for the drill, it's tapping oil for the tap, and I have my tools. A center drill, a number 7 drill, and a quarter 20 tap. So first I'm going to center drill the part. I don't need my turning tool, so I'm going to take it off out of the way. I'm going to move the carriage up closer so I can get my tailstock in nice and close to my work. I then face my part, so now I want to center drill it before I drill. So when I center drill, I'm working in a soft material aluminum. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to center drill about half to three quarters of the way up the 60 degree chamfer so that after I drill I have a nice chamfer on my hole. However, if this were a hard material, I only want to put just the very tip of the center drill into the part. If I put the straight fluted part in, when I try and drill that out in a hard material with high carbon or tool steel, the drill will just chip and break. So I'm going to tighten up the center drill in my drill chuck. Move my carriage up so it's out of the way. Put the spindle in neutral. Make sure that it isn't going to hit the tool post. I've taken the tool off for safety. Put my machine back in gear. I'll slide my tailstock in close to my workpiece. Gently lock the tailstock. Start the spindle. I'm going to turn the hand feed wheel on my tailstock and bring the center drill in. I don't need coolant when I center drill. I'll hesitate to let the chips break. And again, I'm going to go about halfway, three quarters of the way up the angle. And I've center drilled my part. I'm going to start the chuck forward, lightly lock my quill, and I'm going to center drill. I don't need coolant when I center drill. One steady motion into the part. I'll stop the spindle. Slide my tailstock back. And I can now switch to my drill. Snug up my drill into the drill chuck again, making sure I'm securing the drill with all three jaws. I wish to accurately drill 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch. So first, I'm going to come in close. Turn the spindle on, lightly lock the tailstock, and I'm going to drill in a little bit. I'm going to stop the spindle, and I'm going to back up my tailstock. And I now need to read the ruler on the tailstock. My drilling depth isn't that critical. So using the ruler on the tailstock, I'm going to set it to the one inch mark. Lightly lock the quill. Now I'm going to slide my tailstock in to my part and by eye, because it's not a critical depth, I'm going to use my eye. Where the drill is full diameter, I want that to be flush with the front of the workpiece. I'm going to lightly lock the tailstock, unlock the quill. And once again, using the ruler, on the tailstock. I'm starting at one inch. I need to go between five eighths and three quarters deep. I'm going to go until the ruler on the tailstock reads one and five eighths to one and three quarters within my acceptable range. I'm going to back the drill off a bit. Restart the spindle. I don't want to miss my tool with coolant to help the aluminum from sticking to the drill. You want to prevent that. I'm going to drill in a bit, hesitate or back off to break the chip. Miss it a bit. Drill in a bit more, hesitate or back off a bit to break the chip and pull it out. Spray a little coolant on, and I watch my depth. So I'm going to drill till I'm between an inch and five eighths and an inch and three quarter in, and we move the drill. Stop the spindle. Tighten up the drill chuck on the shank of the tap. I'm going 
going to put a light coating of oil on my tap. When you're first learning to tap, you want to be cautious. It's easy to break a small tap. So I'm going to shut the power to the machine off so I don't accidentally engage the RPM. I'm going to push in my emergency stop. So with the emergency stop on, put the spindle into neutral. So I'm going to change the gears. Make sure the chuck rotates freely. I've added a light coating of oil to my tap. I'm going to put light pressure on my tailstock. It's not locked. And I'm going to keep light pressure on the tailstock. Spin the chuck forward until the tap has gone in three or four turns. At which point I'm going to open the drill chuck. Slide the tailstock out of the way. And I'm going to finish tapping with a tap handle by hand. To make it easier to tap, I'm going to put the machine in a low gear. I'm going to back my tap off half the turn to break that chip. I can add a little bit more oil. And I'm going to turn one and a half, two turns forward, and back it off to break the chip. I'm going to keep going. One and a half to two turns forward, half a turn back to break the chip until I reach the bottom of my hole. I'll feel the resistance at the bottom. Don't try and continue tapping or you will break your tap. Just spin the tap out of my hand. 